Hey guys, another beautiful day here in the north today. Talia, minus 25 degrees Celsius. And she is blue skies as far as you can see. That sun, man, she's getting some bright. The reflect, reflection off the snow blinding up and she is some bright. You know, that's how people get snow blind. But anyways, what I'm up to today, you say, well, today, working on the trail. So I left my sleigh behind. I'm just packing a high powered rifle with me today in case I run into a moose or some wolves. Anyways, got my tea pail with me and a little bit of lunch. I'm right at the spot where I left off. So I walked a ways a little bit up there, but this is the new trail here that I just came down as you see. So I got about four or five more miles of cutting. Uh, so yeah, I guess we best get to work, huh? So how this line here is gonna work, actually here, I'll draw you guys a little map here. So how the line goes, kind of goes up, I guess, and then it turns, and then it keeps going. But anyways, me and Ben, we got set up to here, a place that we call a four-way. He's over here somewhere, setting. Uh, anyways, so this trail here comes up, down our trail here, and it goes this, kind of makes like an oval, and then it's gonna meet up with another part. That will be another big chunk. So, it'll be like that. But before we'd have to go this way, go up, do the loop, come back up here, and backtrack all this i said you know screw this shit. let's make this trail i've been talking about for years so we're about we're gonna end up right at the four-way the place we call a four-way i'm right about here right now so about a third of the way <laughs> lots of fun making trails so anyways yeah so all i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna i'll walk the trail i know exactly where i want to go i'll tell you guys a little bit more about that later but so right from here so this is but I'm making my trail through this stuff. This is what we've been, the kind of stuff we're working on. Not real big timber, you know, smaller stuff, but. So what I'll do, I'll walk ahead and walk ahead. I'll cut all the bigger stuff and I'll drive my screw ahead and I'll keep doing that stop, walk ahead, cut, do that and so on and so on. Ben, he's gonna meet up with me here uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, he was actually out trying to catch that Wolverine that got away on him. So he's been doing that the last couple of days. So, uh, yeah, we'll see them a little later. Anyways, let's uh, get the heavy gear off and let's get started. Nice looking little trail, huh? That was just like this a couple minutes ago. So yeah, so that's what I'm up to. So now what I'll do, I'll rewalk this trail. It's a real windy trail, but uh, you know, you don't want to be cutting down big trees. You just go around them. So I'm trying to pick the easiest kind of road it is, but yet I still want to stay in the thick trees where the animals are, huh? But uh, so what I've been using to navigate through the woods here, I got uh, my inReach, I got it paired to my phone. And I just turn on the track and it gives me real time where I am, you know, pinpoints where you are. And I got all my other parts of my trap line marked down on already on my map, on my phone. So it just says, okay, you're here. Okay, well, I want to go there. It gives you directions or whatever and you just go. But uh, according to these maps, it should be pretty soon here in the next couple hundred yards, I should be breaking out into like a, a creek bed sort of system. So that's what I'm trying to get out. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna walk a little farther. Uh, I'll go this way here, I'll just a little ways. And uh, yeah, I'll walk 50 yards or 100 yards and just see what I could see. So I'm looking at the dips of the trees too as well. You know, you could see where the bigger dips are. Well, you wanna stay in the low stuff, in the, in the little lower shit. But this should be the end of the real thick shit that we've been coming through. So it's, it's a little bit of work, but it's well worth it. So uh, yeah, let's get the party started. Let's get back to work. We're going the other way. That was a nice little jaunt. Whew. A little bit overdressed for this. 
You know, 25 is not bad weather to be working out. I think it warmed up quite a bit. It's probably around 20 and all. Yeah. So, forgot my tea, uh, my tea thermos. Filled it up with tea, left it on the counter before I left. And uh, still sitting there. I got my tea pail, but I got no tea bags. You know, sweating, sweating in this kind of shed here, you know, it's good to keep rehydrated. But Ben's got the tea bags and I got the tea pail. <laughs> If I keep that sun on my left shoulder and keep walking, I should break out of this bigger timber. I'm sure hoping that, uh, that it's not thick timber like this all the way. It just means more cutting. So yeah, I want to try and keep my trail as straight as possible. Kind of nice exploring uh, different parts of the woods and stuff, you know. I haven't been in this area before, so it's uh, it's all new to me. It'd be cool to come across a little lake with a little beaver house in it or something. So yeah, so I pull up to this spot here. I want to keep going this way so this tree could stay. That one, I could drive over that one. This one will take down. This one will take down. I'll come through here. And this is all fairly open area. You know, I could navigate through here pretty easy, you know, just kind of pick my trail through. And, uh, yeah, we'll just carry on with this. And we'll see where it takes us. I'm pretty sure yeah, I could get my skidoo through here, so I'm just going to come up a little bit more. Our sun's there, so yeah, we'll just go that way. Every once in a while, I'll check my map and get my location on it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I won't show you guys that map though, but you know, it's got locations, coordinates, and all that other shit on it. But uh, yeah, so anyways, look at that, that's a nice little, almost like a natural trail right here. Go get that skidoo. Out in the open, the snow is about, just about up to my nuts in the bush. It's a little bit above the knees, around the knees. A lot of the snow gets hung up in these trees, boy. Oh. Yeah, Ben, we'll just make a trail about eight miles long. Ah, it's nothing. We'll just get her done in an afternoon or two. No problem. <laughs> Uh, it's funny how easy things are when you're sitting around having a couple beer. Yeah, we'll just do this, we'll just do that. But anyways, this isn't the type of terrain that this map on my phone says I should be in right now. It should be small poly, small uh, pine and spruce open, you know, like I kind of stuck here. It's definitely changing. I'm going out of the spruce. I'm seeing more poplar and willow now. So hopefully I'm coming up to the edge of the creek bed that should be here somewhere but anyways you know this is the trail man this is this is gonna be it uh, i'm looking at my map i'm going maybe i should have back over there i should have took a left instead of a right but anyways no 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 this is the trail I, I ain't making another trail after this so where i am this will be the trail so i'm kind of stuck in a little bit of shit here now but whatever i just gotta cut my way that way just keep cutting guys just keep at her I'm sure I'm enjoying myself though. Like I said, not a whole lot of people will go and make trails anymore. You know, back in the olden days, you know, hunters, trappers, farmers, whatever, they made trails because there was no seismic lines or nothing else. So if you wanted to get somewhere, you had to make a trail, huh? Now there's seismic lines everywhere and people follow those. Too lazy to cut a trail, huh? I guess they just don't know how rewarding it actually is, you know? But anyways, yeah. We're almost getting to the point where this is kind of chainsaw work. I can still kind of pick my way through here. I had to cut quite a bit of trees. I don't know how far I am from the machine, probably maybe a hundred yards. But yeah, shit. 
doesn't look like any sign of the big timber kind of slowing down but that's fine though because in this big stuff this is where all the animals are anyways yeah this is all ox work doing everything by ox i was gonna bring the chainsaw and i was like nah don't need chainsaw it's cold enough a couple of hits on a tree and that uh tree are frozen so they just break huh anyways pretty good up to here so i'll pull my skidoo up to here and frick we'll carry on oh you hear ben coming them four strokes are pretty quiet huh okay turn your volume down <laughs> Benjamin! Yeah. How you make out? Ah, buoy. Hey, I'll be right there. A lot of these trees are just dead, so the pine anyways, they just break over. Could have just drove over them with the machine too, I guess. No tracks? Huh? Wolverine. I seen those Wolverine tracks down the trail, on the new trail. Yeah, and he went towards you. Oh. Couple spots here need a little bit of work. Some tight corners. I'm thinking the real tight corners we'll use chainsaw, huh? Really? Well. Well, I had to cut some corners off it could buy. Yeah, I fear too, I just freaking yeah, weaseled my way in here. This tree is going to have to go. Yeah. I just walked and cut quite a bit farther. That looks pretty good. Yeah, how the trail looks so far? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. The new little bit that what we've been working on today will need a bit of work. I got to cool off. It's Me too. I need some tea. Did you bring your thermos? I just brought a mug. I, I left my tea. I left my tea thermos sitting on the counter at the cabin. Oh no. Just dehydrated and thirsty. I got my tea pail though and you got tea bags so yeah. and I grabbed some lunch up ahead, we'll stop for lunch. I just got snow down my back. Fun, huh? Down my neck. Fun, mm. huh? <laughs> okay guys, we'll take a little break and uh get back to work. I think this is the willow bog that was on my map. So now, I should be able to pick through this pretty easy. You see not a lot of cutting. Uh, see what I meant? Like, you look in the tree line, you can see the spruce trees, a big timber. I just broke out of. And if you look all this way, it's all just straight willow. There shouldn't be much big timber, but this willow could get real nasty. Oh, real bad stuff. You know, it gets pretty thick. Uh, Ben's coming behind me. I'm just cruising through and he's cleaning up the trail behind me. I'll go back ways, grab my machine. And uh yeah, we'll just pick our uh pick our way through here. Going that way. We'll keep the sun at our back. It's getting pretty close in the evening, the sun's just about to set, so okay guys, we'll use the sun to navigate. Got a few more hours of cutting, then we should head back, I guess. Well I thought I could just plow through these little willows, but I'm hung up. The creek bed kind of ended right there. And it's all a willow. You know, frick, that would take a long time to cut all these willows. I thought I could just plow them down. I'm trying to get to those that tree right there. And then it looks more open. Hopefully it opens up a little more because this is just, this is too much cutting in here. Anyways, I'm gonna go walk a little ways and go do a little scouting here before I go too much farther. Get this freaking thing over there. You old brute. <laughs> Don't even have a shovel with me. I think Ben's got one. He's behind me in the sleigh somewhere. Can ask for a nicer day, guys. Well, <laughs> how'd you find out? Ah, I figured that's enough for today. What do you see back there? Yeah, lots of trees and bush and stuff and lots of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Still like this. Uh, kind of opens up a little more, but ah, that's enough for today. I'm wet, freaking wet, thirsty, hungry. So we're going to stop here, make a little fire, uh, have some tea, some lunch, and enjoy the afternoon. Look at our map and figure out where we're going to go from here. I don't know, I'll see. I think we're about halfway now. we got to be close to halfway, but we'll find out here in a little bit. Get a nice fire going, have a dart and a coffee, 
Enjoy the beautiful day out. Good old bush tea. Make sure we get some spruce boughs in there with our tea. Give it a little bit of taste. Open snowman, you know. But it tastes a lot different if you have make tea with melted snow than you would with river water, lake water, store-bought water. It has actually a real, uh, real different taste to it. I can notice it anyways. And it's lunchtime. What do we got for lunch? We got wieners. Not my favorite, but whatever. My mitts are just like ice. Yours too, Ben? Yes. Wet and ice. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna have to cook them on a stick, Ben. I think so. They're frozen solid. We got no buns, we got no ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> we got tea and hot dogs, though. <laughs> fuck the frozen meat solid, too, huh? I just heat them up, half cook them anyways. Yeah, and just put them on there. Be good right on there someplace. Cold. <laughs> no, I want hot. <laughs> no. I think I'll put them around here someplace, let them warm up before I stick them on a stick there. Right beside the fire. Our water. Oh, looks like we've got a couple of cups of water there, Andrew. What kind of tea we having? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of tea we have in our, in our little tea bag. Oh, that's awesome. oh, I thought I heard a whole like a truck there. Oh, look at that. We got oh, some yeah. candies there, right too. On. Yeah, Candy. dirty old tea and hot dogs. Oh, look dogs. at that. Hot chocolate. Oh, hot yeah. Chocolate oh, that's instant coffee. Oh, that's instant coffee. Yeah. Uh, emergency. Energy C. I don't think we have much for tea, Andrew. I put it in that other one I thought. No? No. Fuck. I some coffee. Got her tea. We're gonna have to have coffee on. No, that's fine. That's fine. Throw a couple of these on. Frozen. There. Looks good, man. It'll be a nice little, uh, nice little picnic on the trap line. Hey, Ben. Great. <laughs> we got lots done today, anyways. So, so what we'll do now, we'll just carry on from here another day. Like I said, we're about halfway. I was just looking at my map, so <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna. We've been working on this for four or five days now. Like I said earlier, oh yeah, we'll just do it in a couple of afternoons. Well, yeah, all right. We got another four or five days if, if the bush keeps up like this thick. But uh, willows are tough. You know, it's easier cutting in in the trees in the uh, spruce and pine than it is in these willows. Way easier. You know, this way you can kind of pick and choose your way, cut the odd trees here and there. But anyways, guys, we're gonna finish our little picnic here and have a cup of tea. Put our heavy gear, gear back on. Head back to camp. Uh, what time is it now? It is, it's 20 to 4, it gets dark at 4 o'clock, so about an hour, an hour out of here I think, maybe a little longer, then on the way out we'll stop and pick up, a, clean up a few bad corners and whatnot, but anyways guys, it's been a fun day and I figured I'd just show you guys, uh, another day in the north, I guess if you want to call it that, just another day when I ain't out doing chopping, just, just doing shit like this, huh? So anyways, uh, yeah, I did pick up a couple cats and lag holds the other day. I wasn't filming. Me and Buddy rolled through the first two traps closest to the river. Bang, bang, two links. So they're in the skinning shock. We've got to get them skinned as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see some fur here in the next video, guys. So stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys another day.